All right, guys. So this is the first time that I will disassemble the Humpter. So I actually have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll do it on video together here to see how fast maybe it could be when the uh, date finally comes that we get to use it this weekend. So let's see. This slides right out. Very nice. Okay, set that off to the side. This is going to lift right off. So one thing I will say is this thing is heavy. I'm not going to say it's too heavy, but it is well built. Like. It's not something that you're going to have blow over in the wind. That's for sure. So I'm just kind of going in reverse order of what I did when I put it together. It took me, and again, it was the first time I've ever done it. Probably took me less than five minutes. So let's see. And back here, there's just like these right here to hold these things in place. All right. Next thing you do is you fold her up like so. And actually, it came with this little thing right here. And what this does is it keeps these legs on the side from opening up. So what this will do as it will slide over this little bolt that's here. Obviously, you have to have it off. McFly. All right, so we've got that loosened up now. Put that like so. I'm not sure if these are going to have to come out that hold the laptop, but we will check on that in a minute. There. Look at that. See that? Locked right in place. So being all white, the big concern is gonna be getting scratches on it, right? So this is my first time opening up this duffel bag, which is really heavy and seems to be pretty well padded. So I would imagine we could just set that down like so. Walk it back a little bit. Or as Unc would say, walk it out, right? Lift that up. I think these things that hold the laptop, they should be fine right in here. Let's pull this up and over. All right. And this guy is secure. Not too bad. All right. Now I would say, hmm, I don't think that would go in there. My bigger concern is the top of this thing getting scratched up. So we want to avoid that. Look at that. They've already thought of it. They knew that Jared had a concern. So look at that. They've put a little divider in there. 
and they have this sleeve to put this. Can you imagine? You are seeing it live here, people. I didn't know that was in there, but they knew that that Jared was going to have a concern. Slides down, get it over here. We're in pretty good shape. Assuming I did that right. I don't know how there could be a wrong way, but. Okay. Now we've got our little divider. So. Let's put this face down so that nothing can get to it. Put that right in there like so. I don't know, will this fit like that? I guess. Could do that. And then cover that up. Maybe we'll do it like this. I like that better. I think that's going to be a little bit more secure. I wish that that would go in a little further. I don't know if I'm at the end. But shouldn't be a problem. Zip it up. It's got pretty, I think, pretty good zippers. Because we know as DJs how our zippers tend to go on us. I would say if you're looking for some type of DJ furniture that breaks down, sets up pretty quick, I really, really like this. Um, there's a lot of functionality having the shelf underneath. I can put my external mixer. I can put the mics. It's got the pullout uh, hanger for the headphones for a drink. So a lot of, lot of positives here. For me, I'm 6'5". It's a good height for me to do my thing. Uh, I've been using the Pro X control tower, which is nice, but I feel like I'm, I'm mixing down here, which isn't ideal. So now maybe I'll just have to get a little bag to put our laptop stand in, but that's not a big deal. I can take care of that. So that's the Humpter B3 DJ booth. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will put a link down below where you can find these things. Have a good one.